Hi everybody, this update's for Tuesday the 23rd of May 2023. Just a very quick brief update what happened today um, while in the hospital. So I met with the physios first thing in the morning. We did went along to the, uh, the gym and I did 12 stairs. I need to do 15 before all the sort of, um, they're happy with me. But today was more about proving to myself what I can do and what I need to do to strengthen my legs to cope with it because the legs were a bit shaky, but I now know where I need to strengthen the leg to stop shaking and going up the stairs. Although it was safe, I just, I didn't feel 100% secure. So that went well. I could do enough for the next set to do them, but I thought, no, leave it for tomorrow. But there's another day, and we could do the full set then. Um, so the rest of the day consisted of physio coming in to show me some standing exercises where you can you can stand lean against something. You lift your leg side to side, back to front up at the knee, um, sort of thing like that, doing different repetitions, it's not on each leg. Um, and it's also chair exercise as well, lifting your legs as high as you can, straighten them out, and pretty, fairly basic fundamental stuff, but stuff you forget as well. Um, I also met with the uh, pharmacist to get my meds all sorted for release. Because I think I said in yesterday's video that I'm doing this self-med training. So I now have what they call the green book. Um, which lists all the meds and what time you used to take them. The farmers have tidied up all the, t the, the times because in the hospital system it was all over the place. So she's tidied all that up. So most of my meds are first thing in the morning. And there are only two that I take um, basically later on. One med two hours after the first lot, um, and then at 10 o'clock at night, and then like paracetamol every four hours, but other than that, that's all fine. <clears throat> so she really did it up for me. Makes me a lot simpler as well. Also, I know how to invest, how to do one of the drugs, which is one of the antisuppressant, or sort of immune suppressant drugs, um, because you've got to know what amount of dose to take and that can vary day on day. They just have to, there'll be a chart that you look at on a page and it tells you what you've got to take as a dosage. Um, like for example, one of them went from two and a half milligrams to three milligrams last night. So I took three milligrams instead of three and a half. If I didn't see that chart, I wouldn't have known otherwise. That's, that's all good. Um, the supplement drinks, I've cut them back. Because I don't need them anymore because my appetite has come back again. Again, mental strength. And fast food isn't brilliant, but if you don't eat, basically, I'm not going to gain the strength and I'm not going to get out. Put it that way. So I've already been given a big load of um, supplement drinks and supplement gels to take home with me when I get released. Um, I shall take them home tonight um, rather than just wait for the discharge day because they weigh a ton and they can give their hand as well. So what we then later on um, we had a surprise phone call from a friend I made in the hospital when he was in uh, with a, a kidney issue. Um, in fact, um, an infection, some sort of chest infection. Uh, and also someone who I shared a board with when I was seriously ill and bringing up um, blood for my stomach. Um, he's back in today, today just for a biopsy. Um, and he's getting home again Thursday. I'm back into the biopsy as well, I'm home Thursday. So just a quick one. Uh, flying good. It was nice to see them as well. Um, and Michelle and Nathan came in. So we just, 
بعد بعد ربع ما تشغل قد ضاف sometimes make sure was not come to the conclusion that I'm coming home at some point very 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 soon either tomorrow or Thursday but it will be very very soon um, it will purely depend on physio signing me off and if the occupational therapy team can get things in place in the house before I'm getting discharged but that should be straightforward because it's um, basically going to be a couple of Zimmer frames and um, a raised toilet seat, that's about it really, nothing more than that. So I oh, it's been quite a good day, quite a busy day actually, um, people popping in and out all the time, the um, dietitian coming in, asking how my diet was going, what I'm eating and then changing my prescription to just two of those fruits and drinks as opposed to four a day because you start to grow at them anyway. Um, I've been rather sleepy today as well for some reason, just probably all just emotions that have been catching up on me. My voice is still croaky, but that's from the the the, um, the breathing tubes and everything that was down my throat for days on end. Uh, but that, my voice will come back eventually. Uh, the doctors are absolutely super delighted with me how things have gone. They couldn't work out how someone that was my size at the time had recovered so quickly, so well, and got on my feet so quickly as well. As I kept saying to them, I'm a determined person, mentally and physically. I know my limitations and I never, ever give in. So I know that um, I struggled to walk. So my ploy was, not ploy, but plan was to work on that. And the only way to work on it is if it's not working, become aggressive on yourself. Say, you can do this, you can do this. The word that can doesn't come into it. I can't do it, I can't do it. No, you can do this. It's all in the mind, get it done. So, um, and it was the same with the stage it was get it done. And tomorrow will be, you will do this now. Otherwise, you are not going home. So, anyway. That's my little uh, update for today. Um, as I say, it's been a pretty busy day just getting the meds sorted, physio work done. Doctors are all delighted. Um, so, all looking good. So, just wait and see what happens and we'll let you know tomorrow. Thanks everybody. Bye.